Hey strangers, so sorry for the lighting, it's just I have my night lamp on and it's not the greatest. Wow, fail. Let's straighten you up, shall we? Please don't flip my thingy. Stay. Stay. Oh, I see why. So this is going to be a fresh impression video on Lush's Fresh Face Mask of BB Seaweed. I actually thought I did a fresh impression on this, but then when I looked over for, for my playlist, I didn't see it. So... From what I usually tell people about this is that there's rose water in there and as well as rose oil and because there's chunks of I think it's almond it's really good for basically exfoliation but still maintaining hydration. I think it's great for all skin types and it has lots of minerals from the seaweed and there's at least I think it's okay this is what I get for not having a stand so I'm just gonna stand you right up like this. Okay, why didn't I think of that before? So yeah, um, what I usually tell people is that there's seven pounds of seaweed in there. So yeah, but from what I'm reading at the back here, I see that there's honey, which is surprising. Uh, sweet almond, which I knew, aloe leaf juice, which is nice. There's also, yep, rose oil, rosemary leaf, so it's very herbly. But something that I learned is that there's the aloe in there and as well as honey. So that's cool. Um, I don't really remember like having a significant reaction to this when I tried it alone. So it's not really a first impression. It's more like, you know, what my review on this would be. So I'm going to put it on and then, well, first I have to take off my makeup. Okay, so as usual, I'm going to take off my makeup with the blue micellar water and I think somebody a subscriber messaged and said how the blue one is for waterproof and the pink one is more so for sensitive so thank you for clearing that up the reason why I am choosing to do this mask there's other masks that I want to do a fresh impression on as well but I just feel like right now because in Toronto it's raining a lot like more than usual and I feel like this area of my nose is really dry, so I kind of want to fix that. So I'm just gonna wipe this off. Gonna keep my brows on, cause you know, we love our brows. Have that. So the smell of this one is just like any other, super fresh, and can't wait to put this on. So this is a really thick mask, guys. Like, it's kind of, it's not really easy to spread. Kind of reminds me of Odafix almost, but... Uh, feels nice after a long day of work. I just feel like today, it went by fast, but at the same time, when you actually look at the time, you think to yourself, oh my god, like, did the day really go by already? You know what I mean? But tomorrow is another day, and my roommate still isn't going to be coming back until the 18th. So I can't really do an apartment tour until she gets here, and once we start, like, buying things for the living room. But slowly coming together, my room still looks, like, very plain. As you can see, there's not really any shelves or decors around, so can't really do a room tour until that's completed and it's kind of creepy sometimes because like I know for sure there's nobody outside my window it's mainly for construction but then sometimes I feel like because there's balconies on above my window I feel like somebody is out there when like you know they're rustling through their balcony I'm like oh my god who's out there right so I can't wait to put up my curtains because they're still not up yet only because I never got the chance to go buy a curtain rod. And I don't think I'm tall enough to reach the curtains, the curtain rod from here. So, as you guys can see, I'm not spreading it that easily. Oh, crud. I just totally remembered a subscriber said to put it with a brush. But I don't think this mask, see how thick it is? I don't think this mask would work really well with a brush. So I'll probably do that for my next mask, or a mask that I know would be easier. 
but once I do try it with a brush, I can finally do a verdict of whether I like to spread it out this way or I like to spread it out uh, with a brush. Yeah, surprisingly I didn't drop any. But I think I got almost everything. I'm just gonna make sure I get my chin and nose here. And that. Yeah. Mm. And I don't like, I, I don't like, I don't mind the smell actually. It kind of smells like fresh licorice almost. So I'm going to leave this on. Probably going to watch the rest of Big Brother Canada. I'm so behind. I'm on episode 10 right now. And I think it's almost done or it's probably done by now. So don't spoil it if you watch Big Brother Canada. I have just got into it. And speaking of Big Brother Canada, I swear to God, I saw Gary. Like at a subway station. I kind of froze. I was like, holy shit. Is that Gary from Big Bro? But then I didn't want to creep him out. And because I at that time I was only on episode 5. I didn't really know him. But you know, I was just like, oh my god, it's him. And I've seen Gary before. I've seen him when I went to IMATS last year. And my sister loves him as well and she was just like oh my god he's in big brother and i didn't know who he was so i'm like oh why don't you take a picture but now i'm on the other side of the spectrum anyways enough rambling about big brother it's about the fresh impression here oh my god i just thought i'm talking about big brother bb and this is bb seaweed i'm gonna leave the song you know spat i'm gonna leave the song and then later i will get back to you guys on what i think about it be right back I left this mask maybe longer than I wanted to because I was so busy watching Big Brother. I'm so mad Gary's out. Anyways, um, as you can see, it's cracking, which I kind of like masks like that. And you can see lots of the seaweed. I don't know if it has little chunks of almonds. I can't really tell, but I think the main exfoliation is going to be seaweed. So... We'll see how it feels when I rinse it off. Overall, it just felt like a standard mask. Didn't itch or anything, but it is super tightening on the face. So let's see how it feels when I rinse it off. Just finished cleaning it off. I just hopped in and took a shower. But as you can see, it is a little, little bit hard to clean it. So if you guys worry about cleaning your bathtub or anything like that, because you're like me, you like to rinse it off as you shower, I suggest, um, actually rinsing it off in the sink first because the chunks of seaweed are quite big and also rinse it off with warm water because the other mask I find that it's not as chunky so it's easier to um, melt it off but this one it did take a little bit of time to melt it off so my final verdict is that it is softening I did have dry patches here but from the most part, maybe it's because I just showered, I don't feel it anymore. So it did take out like any dry skin and essentially it does feel soft. It smells really good. It kind of smelled like aquamarina near the end. So like a little bit of calamine and seaweed. So it is a little bit fishy. But other than that, would I repurchase this mask again? Probably not, just because I like Love Lettuce better and it did kind of work the same way in my opinion. But Love Lettuce, again, if you guys don't remember, it made my skin feel super moisturized, which is a plus for me and something that I really look forward to at nighttime. So overall, pretty good mask, but good for those who have sensitive skin and want to get rid of like any dry flakiness. So. Yeah, check it out and if you guys like what you see, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, have a good night guys. Thanks.